Hi, let's talk about how to solve absolute value equations. Whenever you have an equation that has absolute value, the first step is to isolate the absolute value on the left hand side. If we can get this, the absolute value of something inside, it's equal to a positive number, then what we want to do is we are going to, we are going to take this and split into two different equations. The first equation is just whatever that you have inside, it's equal to that positive number. Or the second case is that you take the inside and you want to make that equals to the negative number of that. So you put the negative in front of that positive number, that's what I mean. So you have the positive case and you also have a negative case. And let me talk about like how does this work. So for a real quick example, notice that, let me put a note right here. If we have absolute value of let's say 5, we end up with just 5, right? The absolute value doesn't do anything with positive number. But if you have an absolute value, let's say you have a negative 5 inside, then absolute value of a negative 5, it's also equal to 5. So in another word, notice that whenever we are trying to solve, let's say, absolute value of x, it's equal to the positive number 5 then we actually have two choices for x. The first choice will be the positive 5. Or we also have the second choices, which is the negative 5. Okay, so that's what I mean by that. Whenever you have an absolute value of something inside, we are going to take this and say the inside can be equal to the positive number 5. Or the second case is that the inside, x, could also be the negative of that number. So x can be 5 or x can be negative 5. So um, I have this flashcard and I'm going to work out some examples and the flashcard is going to be um, on my website which is in my descriptions. Okay, so let's get to some of the um, examples. Let's talk about example number one. I want to solve absolute value of 10x plus 3 is equal to 17. So I kind of have to make my one look like this, otherwise my one and then the absolute value <laughs> looks the same. Okay, in this case, we already have the absolute value by itself, right? We already have the absolute value on the left hand side. So we can just go ahead and do this, split into two different equations. So I will take this, the first step, I will write down 10x plus 3 and the inside doesn't change, that's equal to positive 17 okay so that's the first equation or we can also have another choice the second case for the second case we have 10x plus 3 but then in this case we will have equal to negative 17 so we break down the absolute value equation into two normal equations and we can just solve these two equations normally right so for this one, 10x plus 3 is equal to 17. That's minus 3 on both sides. These three cancels. And I get 10x is equal to 17 minus 3, which is 14. 10 times x is equal to 14. So divide both sides by 10. 10 cancels out. I get x is equal to 14 over 10. I believe we can cancel this. We can reduce fractions. We can um, use 2. 2 goes into 14 7 times, and 2 goes into uh, 10 5 times. So the first answer that we get is the fraction 7 over 5. And it's totally okay to have the answer in improper fraction. Okay, for the next one, it's going to be the same procedure, but we are going to work with negative 17 instead. So that's minus 3 on both sides first. These two cancels. Bring down the 10x. That's equal to negative 17 minus 3 is negative 20. Again, 10 times x is equal to negative 20. We are going to divide both sides by 10. Cancel the 10. I get x is equal to negative 20 over 10 is going to be negative, negative 2. So whenever you are solving absolute value equation, it's very likely to end up with two different answers. Okay, two answers. And we are going to circle both of them um, for the answer for this one. 
Okay, continue with example number two. In this case, let's look at one half times the absolute value six minus five x is equal to eight. So in this case, we actually do not have the absolute value by itself. Okay, we have the one one half in front of it. So to get the absolute value by itself, we have to take care of this one half. One half times the absolute value is equal to eight. What we want to do is let's multiply both sides by two. So let's put two right here, okay? Because two times one half, we can put the two as two over one, and we can see that this two and that two will cancels, and all this together will be just a one. So we actually just have absolute value six minus five x. That's equal to two times eight is sixteen. Then we can do the similar procedure of what we did earlier. So I'm going to break. I'm going to break this equation into two different equations. The first one is six minus five x. It's equal to sixteen. Notice that the inside never change. Okay, you do not change the inside. Even though um, whenever you have, the, you know, even though when you see like a negative number inside of the absolute value, let's say when you see the negative five instead of the absolute value, you make that equal to a positive five. But when we are solving equations, in this case, absolute value of six minus five x, right, it's equal to sixteen. Whenever you are solving equations, you want to write down exactly what you have inside. Do not change the inside. And because of the order of operation, you have to make sure the inside stays the same uh, for now. Okay. Or we can also have the second case. Again, the inside does not change. Six minus five x equals to. I want to change the sixteen to a negative sixteen, and we can get to work. So six minus five x is equal to sixteen. That's a、um, minus six on both sides, and we get the six can cancel out. Negative five x is equal to sixteen minus six is. Ten, negative five x is equal to ten, so we can divide both sides by negative five, right? So、um, x is equal to negative two. One of my answer. And for this one, minus six on both sides, and、uh, the six cancels, I get negative five x is equal to negative sixteen minus six. It's negative twenty-two, and then. Divide both sides by negative five. X, it's equal to. Let's look at this fraction. First, negative divided by negative is positive, and then twenty-two over five. We cannot reduce this fraction anymore. So, and we so we will just get positive twenty-two over five. Okay, that's the second answer. And you are going to circle both of these for the answer because in this case we also end up with two different answers. We want to end up with two answers for、um, this equation.